guys and welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are going to be attempting part two of making a manifold. So the other night I got the turbo orientated where I wanted in relation to the head and I've taken the head out of the engine bay and I've put it onto the bench just to make life a little bit easier when I'm trying to piece this together. So I've been staring at this for probably the last half an hour at least trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, there is no real plan. I think the best thing to do is just sit down, start tacking things together and seeing what I end up with. I know that there's a couple of things that I've got to worry about clearance wise on the block. So there is the balance shafts on the block as well as the coolant pipe which comes out of the block around here somewhere. So I've got to worry about running number one. But other than that, I've got quite a lot of space to work with I'll just piece it together, tack it together, and then I can offer it up in the engine bay. See that it clears everything, and yeah, hopefully it works. with how this is looking um, you may notice there's a couple of tubes here which haven't been finished off properly there's a couple of reasons one it is gone past midnight and I don't really want to fire up the grinder and two I need to check whether this runner clears the water pipe um, which I mentioned earlier so before I spend some time in that what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this head into the engine bay and offer this manifold up and hopefully it clears the pipe but I am really really happy with how that's looking a couple of things to mention is the fit up on this doesn't look great there's reason for that I've left them slightly longer um, because when this gets fully welded they do tend to shrink so that should bring that into place quite nicely and obviously you might have noticed that the ports are not round like the pipes what I'll do is once I've welded it all up I will then squish the ends and flatten them off and then hopefully they'll all line up nicely I get the head off the stand and into the engine bay and hopefully it all clears so I don't have to take it apart well I've got to take it apart anyway to weld the runners but that's by the by so one thing to uh, mention I've been using this to cut my radius pipes so that goes in there like that and I can decide how much I want to uh, cut off they just get 
clamp together. So for example, I want to cut that, that end off there. That then goes into the bandsaw like so. And then bandsaw comes down and cuts the tube off exactly square to the, to the bend. So if that makes any sense to you, this, you can buy these, um, but I was fortunate enough to have Mr. Luke Rainbird print this out for me. He's included the long radius and short radius. I don't actually have any short radius bends. I wasn't intending on using one of these, didn't even think of it. And then when I, uh, I mentioned to Luke that I was making a manifold, he uh, had already had a template for this. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. And it's helped no end. I don't really know how I would have done it otherwise because otherwise all the cuts on here would have been all on the piss so uh, thank you very much Luke and uh, if you need to do this or if you're making your own manifold definitely recommend getting something like this Right, so this is how it's looking. And this is what I was talking about, the water pipe. Um, I could probably make this work. I just need to refet all this pipe just so it clears. There is enough space to get behind there. Obviously this pipe as it is, does not fit down there just. So uh, yeah, not too much of an effort to make that. But overall, though it looks good, I'm, I'm not convinced it does stick out a bit more than I anticipated. It didn't look like it stuck out that far on the bench. Um, there is clearance in behind here. The reason why that is not so much of a concern, but I've got to get a four inch exhaust down there and I was hoping I could drop it down here away from the steering rack boot, which is just here. Yeah, the further I can get it away from there obviously the better because it's going to be hot and that space there is fairly tight I mean I'll grab grab a four inch pipe quickly okay um, so the intercooler pipe fits pretty much as it was although I'll need to extend this top length which not really a big deal that wouldn't take long at all make that intercooler pipe work and the down pipe is actually in place and it's not too bad um, there is a bit of space there I could just make a, uh, a heat shield to protect the rack um, so maybe all is not too bad what do you think obviously I still need to put wastegate on here yeah just can put an elbow of here like that which will feed the wastegate and then that can go straight into the downpipe over there somewhere. Looks like this might work as it is. I think I might be able to live with that. Yeah. I think I can I can make that work. I just need to protect that boot a little bit more. Anyhow, I think that is it for this episode. So I best get in, it's gone one o'clock. This has actually taken quite a long time. It's taken a couple of nights actually. So um, to be honest, the first night I probably only spent an hour and a half on it tonight. I've been out for four hours. Yes, yeah, so it's taken quite a long time to get that done. If you've liked this episode, please hit the like button. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel really helps. And I will see you in the next episode where I will this up fully.